I'm sorry. In a recent video, I said that nesting components in React probably wasn't a great idea, and I don't do it, but it probably wasn't going to hurt your project. Turns out I was wrong, and it's a really bad idea. Let me tell you why. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with this really simple code. I've got a name field component. It's got some use state in it, tracks a name. We can see that in the input over here. And then we've got an app component that has a count in it. So it has the name field and also this button. Simple stuff. I can type in here and it tracks just fine. I can increase the count and it just works perfectly. No problem. Now, what I've seen is folks say, you know what? The important part here is app and I want to hide the implementation of name field. So I'm going to go and take name field and drop it in here inside of app. I'm going to define name field within app that kind of namespaces this function. But otherwise, it works, right? It should be absolutely symmetric. So let's try it out. Let's say hit save. And now I hit refresh. And if I go over to the input and I type hello, everything looks good. But if I hit count, uh oh, that's a real problem. So what exactly happened here? Well, what happened here is that we unmounted and remounted name field, we can check to see that that's the case by adding in a use effect where we just console log out that we're mounted. And then, hey, let's actually go in console when we're unmounted. Cool, and now we can see that we are mounted, unmounted, and remounted. Now if I type hello again, no problem. But when I click this button again, we are mounted, unmounted, and remounted. Now we actually get two mount and unmount pairs here because we're in React 18, in development mode, in strict mode, and that gives you double mounting. But even in production mode, this is going to be a problem. So why is this happening? Well, what's happening here is that every time we go through this app function and re-render, and that's when we click this button, we create a new reference for name field. Yes, it's exactly the same implementation of name field, but it is a new function reference. And so when we pass that off to React, React thinks that it's a new component. And that means that it's going to mount and unmount the old component in favor of the new component. It doesn't matter how you define it, you could use a const for this. And the effect is exactly the same. That's why you should never define components nested within other components. Just pull it out, put it in the right space. It's not exposed by this module, it's fine. Just keep your components separated. I hope this helps you understand a bit more about how React handles component function references and also how JavaScript manages function references. Of course, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.